As promised a few days ago, I'll be covering multi-layered architecture as it relates to Link. The first thing we need to do is evaluate how Microsoft intended multi-layer architectures to work. I mean, if we want to know how to do this, the best place to start is with the people who created the technology. So, remember when we discussed partial functions? Partial functions are the key to understanding the multi-layer capabilities of Link. The Link to SQL classes are composed of the data context class and the class that represents a row for each table. If we go over here and look at the data class that we created a couple weeks ago, So we put our address table on here. And what this did, and we saved this back to the file system, is it actually generated a bunch of classes for us. And that's over here. It's right here. So we have our data context class here, and then we have we will have a table or a class in here for each table in the system. Now what's key about these classes is each of these classes have a set of partial functions that have been created for us. So we have an on create, uh, an insert an address, update address, and delete address because we have an address table. So we get an insert, update, and delete partial function for each of the tables that are in our data context. And for each of our tables that are in our con data context, we also get an onloaded method, an onCreated method, an onValidate method, and then a changing and changed event handler for each of the properties that we have in our table, each of the fields that we have in our table. And that's basically the, the gist of how uh, the extension points and the uh, partial methods allow us to have a layered architecture in .NET. So what can you do with this? Well, you can do a couple different things. One is you could create special insert, update, and delete handlers for tables that need special handling. For example, maybe you can't implement cascading delete at the database level for whatever reason. You could handle it in code during the delete event. Or maybe you need to do some kind of data transformation on a row when they're loaded and then transform it back when the row is saved. Or maybe you just need to validate data as you're changing a record using uh, the event handlers. I've actually gone over here and I've created a partial data classes class that actually is a partial class of my address class. I'm not going to do anything with the insert update to least. Think if we just do it for one of these, you'll get the basic idea here. So what I did was I created an on loaded event that's going to put brackets around the first name. Now, just to uh, show you what it looks like without this, we're going to go through and we'll, we'll comment that out at first. So you see our first name, has just got regular names. Now if we go through, let's go back to partial class here and comment this. And run this again. You'll see that we now have the brackets around our first name. And that's, uh, Pretty much how you use those expansion methods. There's some other things that we can do. We'll be doing a few other things in the next few days on uh, how we might be able to get things like uh, computed functions going on here. And, uh, if you're real observant, you'll see how we'll do something on that in this code. 